Welcome to another episode of Building an Acoustic Guitar. This is my first acoustic guitar, and this is Steve, and over there is Joyce, and this is Showalter Guitars. In the last episode, we cut out this bridge. It's the same day, but in the last episode, we cut out this bridge, and we were doing a lot of final sanding. We're doing some work on the neck, but in this episode, it is lacquer time. So we're gonna finish doing some masking and some more sanding, some final cleanup, and then we're gonna spray the lacquer on it. Now we're doing a satin finish on this guitar and um, because I love that soft luster that a lot of the Showalter guitars have. I'll show you some pictures of other Showalters that I love the finish of, which is what first kind of captivated me with Steve's work. It's coming up on a year, Steve, that you and I have been friends. Like I think my last video was November, or first video. So, all right, well, let's get into it. Inspection. Yeah. Heard it. So try to see right in here really square. That looks good. Yeah. I don't see anything wrong with that. Yeah. So, uh, this needs masking uh, in here. And if you can fold it up and come out partially, partway out to the line, you know, you know and same thing here. Okay. Uh, and uh, and then out here. So if I were inside, that line, inside this line. So do I do this? Like that line? Like through the binding all the way to this corner? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Come all the way out. So, Is that thing ready for lacquer? I think so. Where do you get this bone? I get them at the <laughs> tractor supply. <laughs> These are dog like dog bones. bones. Joyce and I were saying like it's a bit, it's a very stinky thing. And for me it's nostalgic but not in a way I want to go back to. Like when I used to work in a guitar shop and somebody would come in and they were like, I need a new bone nut and bone saddle. And then the cloud of smoke and stink would come out of the back. And the shop I worked in was like in a strip mall. So it didn't have great air conditioning. It's only one door in the front, one door in the back. So if it was happening, it was gonna be there for a long time. If you missed it in the last episode, in seven or eight minutes, sorry, in seven or eight minutes, he whipped out a bridge out of just a piece of wood. It was amazing. So here we go.
sanding back here. Yeah. I just want to sand here. Okay. I'm just covering that up so we don't scratch this up. Okay. I was going to let you do it. Yeah. It won't hurt anything to go some more. Um, but you're coming down harder on this side than you are on this side. There's it's just thicker over here. Okay. So try to put a little more pressure over here. Okay. Think so. Uh, now we just need to go to uh, flip this. Let's flip this over and do it on the white side. Cause that's like just having a camera, having to show people how you do it. Like this is not how I would sit and do it. Mm -hmm. So that's where, I mean, observed behavior. What's that from philosophy? Observed behavior will never be natural behavior. Mm -hmm. um, but. I got some. Just make sure that you don't touch up here where it's gonna be seen. Keep it on a 45 degree angle. Okay. Yeah. So it is time to mask off the fretboard. You don't want lacquer on that. And so I'll show you how you do it. I take my finger, my thumbnail and go right up in against the fret. Oh, okay. And then take it on the other side of the fret. So see it oh, that, the tiniest that way. Little thing, yeah. Well, that way the lacquer doesn't okay. go in beside the fret there. But you gotta watch, what it wants to do is walk. Mm -hmm. So like if it's starting to go in too far, I come back here and, and redo it. And then and kind of pushing it. Okay. To get it to go in the direction I need it to go. And then this has to be masked off here. Okay. And out here on the bottom of this. Okay. Candy. Now, so, but you're going to want to take pictures of me doing that, right? Spraying it? Yes. But don't, I'm not ready yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a handle on it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize I, you covered this up completely and I got to have that. To, that's my handle. Oh, I thought I did such a good job then. Oh, you did. You did. <laughs> good job. <laughs> Show me your paint booth. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take the car out of it. And then another episode, we'll talk about this. You saw him now. Uh, you need to come over here and look at this. Go for it. Yeah. 
to. Don't you do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that's nice. Oh, Steve, can I turn it? Yeah. Okay. Let me just not kick it over. That's so good. The rosa. I don't know, or the um, yeah. tortoise. I don't know if I would have done tortoise if you didn't. Really? Yeah. You like it? It's such a yeah. good, especially right here. Yep. It's just such uh -huh. like. Because it has that yellow and yet it's dark. Mm -hmm. You went with the lighter yeah. tortoise shell, right? Okay. Yeah. Oh, the knots. I'm mm -hmm. so glad you went with the knots. It's funny, so there's a choice. thing. Oh, in the neck, there's a part that looks way deeper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, that looks great. Okay, that's where we were. Okay, we were trying to figure out if the wood filler was right there in the middle. Mm, yeah. But that looks great. It looks so good. Oh my goodness. You never think about mm -mm. what's underneath there. Nope. <laughs> no one ever has to know. <laughs> Although they will. And that's okay. Yeah, since thousands of people have watched this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this the end of this episode? Well, uh, unless you want to stick around for the resanding and recoating, which that'll be at least an hour before you can sand. Okay. I think I need to boogie. <laughs> mm -hmm. I would, I would want to go ahead and get it on tonight. Is yeah, that okay yeah. No, do that. Do that. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to jump ahead in time just a bit because this is just one of those moments where. I'm making a lot of videos. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> I have a video that's under an embargo that I filmed last night and has to go out tomorrow. So I gotta figure that out before I go to the lake tomorrow mm -hmm. as well and some family stuff. So anyway, this is the end of whatever episode number this is. I'm gonna stop guessing because I'm always wrong. Um, but thanks for watching this episode. I'm Jeremy, this is Steve and Joyce, uh, Show Walter Guitarist, link in the description down below. If you wanna buy one of these, there are a bunch for sale. If you wanna build one with Steve, I mean, you really have been the most gracious teacher I could have. Uh, mistakes have been made. And Steve, you've been really kind uh, when I make mistakes, which that's normal. If you're not making mistakes, you're probably not doing stuff, that's whatever right. that quote is. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys later. This thing, it's turned a corner. Like, it's a real beautiful guitar. It is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Wow. It's a thing of beauty. <laughs> and that's in seed oil? No, I put, I put the lacquer on there. Oh, okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. That could be still tacky a little. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just don't squeeze it very hard. Turn it on. Yep. So how many did you get down? Uh, eight, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited. And then you've inspired us. So Steve just planed this and yeah. we're gonna, I'm gonna run this through the drum sander. We're gonna have to think about this, but then get however many, maybe another six? At least three. Oh, oops. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking yeah, six, but, that's but yeah. So exciting. Another three Osage Orange Bridges. So thanks for inspiring us. Sure. <laughs>